This video introduces logarithms. Logarithms are a way of writing exponents. The expression log base a of b equals c means that a to the c equals b. In other words, log base a of b is the exponent that you raise a to to get b. The number a is called the base of the logarithm. It's also called the base when we write it in this exponential form. Some students find it helpful to remember this relationship. Log base a of b equals c means a to the c equals b by drawing arrows. a to the c equals b. Other students like to think of it in terms of asking a question. Log base a of b asks, what power do you raise a to in order to get b? Let's look at some examples. Log base 2 of 8 is 3 because 2 to the 3 equals 8. In general, log base 2 of y is asking you the question, what power do you have to raise 2 to to get y? So for example, log base 2 of 16 is 4 because it's asking you the question, 2 to what power equals 16? And the answer is 4. Please pause the video and try some of these other examples. Log base 2 of 2 is asking, what power do you raise 2 to to get 2? And the answer is 1. 2 to the 1 equals 2. Log base 2 of 1 half is asking, 2 to what power gives you 1 half? Well, to get 1 half, you need to raise 2 to a negative power. So that would be 2 to the negative 1. So the answer is negative 1. Log base 2 of 1 eighth means what power do we raise 2 to in order to get 1 eighth? Again, since 1 eighth is 1 over 2 cubed, we have to raise 2 to the negative 3 power to get 1 over 2 cubed. So our exponent is negative 3, and that's our answer to our log expression. Finally, log base 2 of 1 is asking 2 to what power equals 1? Well, anything raised to the 0 power gives us 1, so this log expression evaluates to 0. Notice that we can get positive, negative, and 0 answers for our logarithm expressions. Please pause the video and figure out what these logs evaluate to. To work out log base 10 of a million, notice that a million is 10 to the sixth power. Now we're asking the question, what power do we raise 10 to to get a million? So that is, what power do we raise 10 to to get 10 to the sixth? Well, of course, the answer is going to be 6. Similarly, since 0.001 is 10 to the minus 3. This log expression is the same thing as asking what's log base 10 of 10 to the minus 3. Well, what power do you have to raise 10 to to get 10 to the minus 3? Of course, the answer is negative 3. Log base 10 of 0 is asking what power do we raise 10 to to get 0? Well, if you think about it, there's no way to raise 10 to an exponent and get 0. Raising 10 to a positive exponent gets us really big positive numbers. Raising 10 to a negative exponent is like 1 over 10 to a power. So that's giving us tiny fractions, but they're still positive numbers. We're never going to get 0. Even if we raise 10 to the 0 power, we'll just get 1. So there's no way to get 0, and the log base 10 of 0 does not exist. If you try it on your calculator using the log base 10 button, you'll get an error message. Same thing happens when we do log base 10 of negative 100. We're asking 10 to what power equals negative 100, and there's no exponent that will work. And more generally, it's possible to take the log of numbers that are greater than 0, but not for numbers that are less than or equal to 0. 
In other words, the domain of the function log base a of x, no matter what base you're using for a, the domain is going to be all positive numbers. A few notes on notation. When you see ln of x, that's called natural log, and it means the log base e of x, where e is that famous number that's about 2.718. When you see log of x with no base at all, by convention, that means log base 10 of x, and it's called the common log. Most scientific calculators have buttons for natural log and for common log. Let's practice rewriting expressions with logs in them. Log base 3 of 1 9th is negative 2 can be rewritten as the expression 3 to the negative 2 equals 1 9th. Log of 13 is shorthand for log base 10 of 13. So that can be rewritten as 10 to the 1.11394 equals 13. Finally, in this last expression, ln means natural log or log base e. So I can rewrite this equation as log base e of 1 over e equals negative 1. Well, that means the same thing as e to the negative 1 equals 1 over e, which is true. Now let's go the opposite direction. We'll start with exponential equations and rewrite them as logs. Remember that log base a of b equals c means the same thing as a to the c equals b. The base stays the same in both expressions. So for this example, the base of 3 in the exponential equation is going to be the same as the base in our log. Now I just have to figure out what's in the argument of the log and what goes on the other side of the equal sign. Remember that the answer to a log is an exponent. So the thing that goes in this box should be my exponent for my exponential equation. In other words, u. And I'll put the 9.78 as the argument of my log. This works because log base 3 of 9.78 equals u means the same thing as 3 to the u equals 9.78, which is just what we started with. In the second example, the base of my exponential equation is e. So the base of my log is going to be e. The answer to my log is an exponent in this case, the exponent 3x plus 7. And the other expression, the 4 minus y, becomes my argument of my log. Let me check. Log base e of 4 minus y equals 3x plus 7 means e to the 3x plus 7 equals 4 minus y, which is just what I started with. I can also rewrite log base e as natural log. This video introduced the idea of logs and the fact that log base a of b equals c means the same thing as a to the c equals b. So log base a of b is asking the question, what power or exponent do you raise a to in order to get b?